once you have that, just do a squirt or two off to the side. Sometimes it takes a minute to warm up. And then once you kind of have an idea of the consistency, the trick is, well, there are two things. One, kind of keep the bottle upright. Don't hold it like this. That will tend to um, plug the nozzle in there. So you want to hold it more up and down. And another thing is commit to the spray. That's what they, they tell you, the experts, the spray ink experts. They always tell me, commit to the spray. So rather than just partially push the nozzle down, push it all the way down and all the way back up. That'll just keep things running uh, smoother for you. And then once you've got all that ready and you've done your practice squirt, you just go ahead and aim it at your trim. And you can see how it's turning that pretty red color. So you can do as much or as little as you want, and you can even do two or three tones on one strand of trim. It's such a versatile technique. And I'm going to use this very cool wood grain, which is also very hot and scrap scrapbooking right now, and some ink. There we go. And so um, I'm going to just ink the surface. And print it on. And you have a very cool wood grain washi tape. Now the ink, because the washi tape slick, might not dry as quickly and you don't want to smear it. So you need a heat gun or you could just let it sit for a few hours to be safe, but a heat gun will dry pretty quickly. And I'm going to start by using, by creating this little fold here. We're going to start by doing a decorative edge on the page, on a piece of cardstock. And then this, this will just add a lot of interest to the edge of the little pocket thing we're going to hide them in. One more. And I'm just going to trim down a little piece off the side to make it fit. Oops. So then here we have a decorative edge that just adds some interest to the bottom of this little folded thing. And then I'm going to put my three photos and adhere them 